So Golf has frequently been restocking both of their necklaces, old Golf necklace and the flower pendant on their site very frequently. Pretty much as soon as one sells out, it'll be gone for a couple weeks and then they'll throw it back up. So since a lot of people are gonna be looking into buying these necklaces, I wanted to make a quick comparison between the old Golf necklace and the flower pendant. Now this Golf necklace, which is the old Golf necklace, is a pendant that I wore for a very long time. I can actually tell you exactly how long I wore it. So it says here that I actually bought this necklace on October 13th. So I got this necklace right here on the first time they dropped the old golf necklace. And they have actually been pretty frequently restocking these necklaces since I copped the first one. So this isn't gonna be anything super rare from golf. You can pick one up if you really like to. So I have been wearing this necklace since October 13th, 2018. It's currently May 25th, 2020. And for the most part, I have worn this necklace every single day since then. However, not too long after they dropped this, they dropped another golf necklace and it is actually actually a gold fill flower pendant. The difference between gold fill and gold plating was something I questioned a lot whenever I saw this flower pendant drop on the site. I wasn't really sure of the difference. And I'm sure that's the same for a few other people out here who are interested in buying these pieces. So I wanted to go ahead and do a little research and upload this video to let you guys know the difference. And right here, we actually have the gold fill flower pendant. Now, when I first copped the old golf necklace, I thought that 100% this was gonna be like my go-to necklace. I was like, I'm gonna wear this necklace all the time for years. I'm never gonna get rid of it but there was one big problem with it and that was the fact that it was gold plated and this flower pendant necklace is actually gold filled. So I just wanted to go ahead and show this pickup and do a quick comparison between a gold plated necklace and a gold fill necklace, especially since a lot of people are gonna be buying them now since they're getting restocked all the time. The first necklace we're gonna look at is the old golf necklace, which is the gold plated necklace. Something that's important to note is this chain right here is real gold. So there's not gonna be any signs of wear or anything on this. This was actually a gift from my dad. I pretty much bought this pendant just to put on the gold chain. So just keep in mind that this chain is not the gold plated chain that the old golf necklace originally comes with. Before we get into this too deep, I want to go ahead and explain the difference between gold fill and gold plating. Now gold plating is basically a very thin layer of gold on top of a cheaper metal. So most of the time the necklaces or pendants or whatever are silver and then they dip it in gold. So it looks gold on the outside, but the vast majority of the piece is actually silver or copper, whatever the cheaper metal is on underneath the gold. And I wasn't initially aware of exactly how thin this layer of gold is. And so I looked up a couple of videos of people actually gold plating uh, different jewelry pieces and stuff. And they basically like very quickly dip whatever pendant or whatever they're trying to gold plate and pull it out. And it just looks all shiny and gold. And that's basically all they do. So basically this necklace was a pendant and from the looks of it, it was probably a silver pendant. And they basically just put a super thin layer of gold on top of this silver. But this necklace right here is actually gold fill. And this is actually a, a very similar process, but basically the biggest difference is there is a lot thicker of a layer of gold on top of this necklace than there is on this necklace. So the underlying metal of this pendant is still silver, but this has a very thick layer of gold on top of it, probably multiple layers of gold on top of it in comparison to the old golf necklace. The reason this is important is the gold plating wears off very easily. And the biggest reason that this gold plating wears off on a lot of pieces is because of liquid. Whatever it may be, whether you wear it in the shower, which is something you should never do with any gold pieces, the gold plating will wear off like immediately. Or if you wear it out in the rain or you sweat on it while you're wearing it, it will very quickly wear down the gold plating of this piece. And when I bought this necklace, I was under the impression that I was going to have it for years and years to come. And I did have it for a very long time, but not quite as long as I thought. So I took very good care of this piece. I made sure to never wear it whenever I had my shirt off and I was going to do something rigorous, like I don't know, ride a bike or play football or something. I would always take this necklace off to prevent it from getting the gold plating worn off of it. And you're probably not gonna really see the significance of it through the camera, like I said, but in person, it's very significant. Basically, the only part of the initial gold plating that's still on there is on the G here and just a little bit of the O. So the majority of this necklace has the gold plating completely worn off of it. Another thing that happens really frequently is necklaces hitting something like a table or, you know, you walk into something or whatever. Running into stuff and chipping this necklace will very easily get the gold plating ripped off of it as well. So this is actually a really cool necklace from golf, but just the fact that the quality on it isn't the best and the gold plating wears off really easily, I started kind of looking to replace the pendant. And initially, I actually wasn't intending to replace it with another pendant from golf. I was kind of looking to get a pendant a little more on the expensive side. So I was kind of looking at stores like Belk and JCPenney's and stuff, kind of locally around here that had real gold pieces that I thought wouldn't be astronomically high. Uh, to my surprise, which it really shouldn't have surprised me, real gold pieces are pretty expensive. So that's why when golf restocked this flower pendant, I went ahead and picked it up. Now, both 
Both of these pieces are the exact same price. The only thing is this pendant is a little bit smaller. It's a lot more low key, which is actually something that's gonna benefit me a lot in the long run, not having something that's really out there as golf. And doing the research I have on gold plating and gold fill, this necklace will last a whole lot longer and keep that gold shine a lot longer than a gold plating piece would. So it's a lot more of a simple design. It's just a simple Lafleur. And uh, if you're like me, I'm kind of predicting golf to take more of the Lafleur direction anyway. So copying this pendant and wearing it seems a little bit more appropriate for what I think is gonna be the future for the company. But obviously I could be wrong. Basically gold plating is a super thin layer of gold. Gold fill has a lot more gold and the silver is kind of just as a base for the layers of gold to be put on. So for example, a gold plating piece might have one very thin layer of gold on it and a gold fill piece might have, you know, six or seven layers of gold on it and it's a lot thicker. Unfortunately, upon the filming of this video, both of these pieces are sold out on the Golf Wing website. But if you're looking to pick up either of them, you should go check whenever you're watching this, they restock it all the time. And if you personally like the design of the old golf piece better, uh, go for it. Just keep in mind that you're gonna have to take very good care of it. And unfortunately, no matter what you do, you're not gonna be able to 100% prevent the gold plating from wearing off. Just everyday wear will wear the gold plating off no matter what you do. If you're in this to get a little bit more of a low key and a higher quality piece, then I would recommend getting the flower pendant. But I'm pretty sure that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for taking this video out. I have a huge clothing haul video coming up very soon. So just stay tuned for that. I'm just waiting for a couple more pieces to get here. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you like this content and you would like to see more, like this video and subscribe. I got a ton of streetwear content coming up, but I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video.